All right, so there's a new island that we want to explore. So this is where we currently are now, we're in Bali, and I want to get here. See this little rock ledge here? This is where, where I want to get to. If we can get here and spend a couple of days fishing, that's our goal. It looks epic. Let's see if we can get there. Yes! What's going on doggies? We made it to the island. So we actually got here yesterday, but um, yesterday was a very interesting day. There was, to start off, I had to get a boat from Bali over to this island and I wanted a captain just to drive me across, drop me off. I'll spend three days here with no food. So we're pretty much just gonna fish hard, see if we can get food. And that was gonna be the plan, but I couldn't find a captain to drop us off. So after a whole day searching, I found a captain at like one o'clock in the afternoon. He drove me over here, but then he couldn't actually drop me off here. So this is the cliff that you would have seen on Google Maps or Google Earth. This is the cliff that I want to fish and the boat driver can't actually drop me off because it is actually a cliff and it's going to be pretty hard to fish from. So he had to take me all the way around the southern side of the island, drop me off on a beach and then I had to jump off his boat, rent a scooter and then find my way here. So um, yesterday was just a day of just, just headaches really, but it was so fun. Pretty much the whole entire day looked like this. Just down here, there are some big dog long tom. I'm talking like a meter long and maybe this fat. I'm just gonna unpack the bag, set up a fishing rod. I've nearly got it set up and they're gonna try to get one of these fish because we don't have any food for the next three days and they're big dogs down there. So, and I'm pretty much pushing this scooter more than I'm driving it because these tracks are gnarly around here. But, um, oh, man, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get this rod set up and we'll see if we can get one of these fish. Wah, I'm fizzing. Look at the water. Oh man, I'm so froth right now. So just down here, there was some big long tom. It's taken me a little while to unpack all my stuff, but they were big. Oh, there's one there. Look at the size of that thing, dude. Ooh, scared him off. Oh! Big sausage. Oh, oh, look at it. <laughs> Dude, are you serious? This is definitely not made for a scooter, but here goes nothing. <laughs> oh. oh, no way, am I gonna get up that? Oh, here we go. Boy. All right, 
How the hell am I going to get up here? Whew. This is really bad. All right, so this scooter, definitely not made for this terrain. Just bottoms out every single time we go up a rock hill. And I have so much further to go, all the way to those palm trees. <laughs> we're only at the bottom, we're halfway. Dude. Yes! No! I am sweating absolute bullets right now. How am I supposed to get up this section? Come on, get up there. Yes. Come on, let's go. Mission. Oh my god. So we were driving that scooter down. I was trying to find like secluded beaches. Like this is one cliff that I want to fish. But we're still here for another two days. So I wanted to like um I wanted to find different places, different beaches. So I just find a little tracks and just go down them. But man, I did a lot more pushing of the scooter than riding the scooter yesterday, I think. It was actually some of the spots that I was getting myself into, I was wondering like, why do you even go down? Because you've got to come back up, you idiot, you know? Like, anyway, it was a super fun day, but we blew the whole entire day just getting lost, traveling. And then I come down here and I set this tent, tent up at pretty much dark. Who the hell ever said setting up a tent at night was fun? Not me. Today's been hectic, dude. <laughs> wow, yeah. Oh my god, I hate tents. You know what I really miss the most? I miss my swag. That's probably the one thing that I miss the most about not being in Australia. My swag, dude. None of this shit. I was so tired, I just slept, and then today we're gonna try to get some food, because yesterday we ate nothing. So um, this morning the goal is, I think, we're gonna try Try our hardest to fish. Like this ledge looks psycho. I haven't really been down there properly, but it looks really good. And um, there's one local man fishing down there. So we've kind of got it to ourselves. Oh man, I'm fizzing, eh? All right, so let's, I really, really, really want to catch breakfast or something to eat because I'm starving. I ate nothing yesterday. Coffee, coffee's all you need. But um, all right, I'm going to pack up. I might leave the tent here, but we're just going to get the rods ready and we'll run down there. Hopefully we can get some for breakfast. This is going to be an interesting couple of days, doggies. So if you watched the last episode, I got eaten by mosquitoes. So I bought a little tent and it's kind of good. We literally just slept on the floor last night like there was no mattress. There's nothing in the tent, but um, she did good. And this is a hell of a view to wake up to, man. Look at this. All right, let's get down there somewhere. See if we can get some breakfast. It's actually going to be really hard to fish here. And these rocks are super sharp. Like if you fell on this, any of these rocks, good luck, mate. That's, that's psycho, that's really sharp. So the problem that I can see straight away, obviously I've never been here before. I just found this spot on Google Maps. And the problem that we're gonna have straight away is if we hook up to a big fish, I don't think I'm gonna be able to land anything decent off this cliff. Like if we get a 20 kilo GT, even a 10 kilo GT, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to lift it up this, this ledge by myself. So, um. That's gonna be bloody interesting, but I'm only going for little fish. I just want like little fish for dinner, for our breakfast. All right, let's get a rod out there. See what's around. Let's go. Here we go. That's a fish on. Oh. Oh yeah, 
Oh no, it's going deep. Please don't come off. What have we got? What have we got? Big head shakes. Oh, come on, this is breakfast. I need this fish. Oh no, there's a shark behind it. No, no, no. No, what is that? Oh my God. This is the mother of all barracuda. I can't get this in, man. Look at the GT behind it. Oh my God. Dude, I need help, man. <laughs> this is psycho. Right, this is a good barracuda. It's, and there's a massive GT there, like 20 kilo. Holy shit. This is psycho, man. <gasps> oh, stop it. I can't, I, I, I can't get this fish in. I've got 20 pound leader. What do I do, man? No, no, don't go around the corner. This is a big fish, man. Big fish. How am I going to land this fish? I have no idea. Look at the size of that GT. Oh my God. Dude, there's easy 25 kilo plus GT behind it. Look, look at the size of that GT. <gasps> oh my goodness. That is a monster. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this fish. Look at that GT, man. Are you joking? Oh, this is mayhem, dude. This is the best day ever. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Look at the size of that GT with him. Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to keep him, walk him around here. Dude, this is hectic by myself. This is solo fishing to the best. All right. I think around the corner here, there's a bit of a low ledge. If we can get him there. Fuck. Here it is, here it is. Oh, that was close. That was very, very close. Oh. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, now I need a wave. Just gotta stay there, stay there. Stay, stay, stay. Go, run. Go, 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 go. <sighs> Holy shit, I don't even know if I can get down here. Got to eat. I am so pumped right now, man. Look at this thing. I'm actually going to get him back. He's still got a lot of life in him. I'm going to climb back down that cliff and chuck him in the water, but I just wanted to get a good photo with him. Look at that, mate. This thing's way too big to keep for breakfast. This will feed a family of 300. All right, I'm going to put him back. Love you. Thank you. That was an epic fight on PE2 gear. Look at that, doggies. We've done it. All right, let's get this big dog back. Man, that was so sick. <laughs> Look at that from climbing up that cliff. Boost my finger. Really sharp rocks here, right? Look at this. Everywhere's bleeding. Ah. All right, let's get this big boy back. He deserves to fight another day. See you later, buddy. Come on, kick, kick, kick. Oh, there he goes. That was insane, dude. Oh, oh, that was 
Possibly one of the best land-based fishing fights I've ever had. I did not think I was gonna land that fish. I'm using a tiny little Daiwa Surtate 3000 and spinning this little minnow. Oh my God, that was insane, dude. PE2 gear. This is like super light gear for that fish. <laughs> that was so sick. So we still don't have any breakfast. And right now, I don't even care. That was insane, dude. Oh, slice my finger open, slice my leg open, and I'll do it all again a hundred times over. Hey, what a morning. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pack up from here. This is just like the land of the giants. Everything that's swimming by, too big mahi-mahi, came past, they weren't interested, they just kept swimming around the point. They were really, really big fish. We got that Barracuda, that big GT was with that Barracuda, so there's just, obviously the fish here, they're big, big fish, and I need something to eat. Like, I'm not, I don't want to kill a fish that big just to feed me once. I've got nowhere to put the fillets or anything. So I reckon, I reckon we'll go up there, we'll make another coffee, we'll pack up, pack up the tent, and we'll go shoot to another spot on this island, and we'll just start fully exploring. Like, I don't know, there's so many places on this island to explore, it's insane. So pack up the tent, pack everything away, and we'll, um, We'll start exploring. Oh man, I'm frothing. I'm so happy with that fish we just got. So this is PE2 setup, man. That's like super light for that size fish. So dope. So this is our trusty steed. This is the bike that I rented when I got to this island. The only problem that is this bike, we're running like full on slicks, man. Like there is no traction. So these tracks that we're about to go down today, it's gonna be gnarly. But hopefully we can get a couple of fish. Like down there where we were fishing this morning, off its head. There are some big fish there. I'm definitely gonna come back. But there's a lot of places I wanna explore and we're getting picked up tomorrow afternoon on the boat. So there is a lot of places to explore and not too much time. So I'm gonna jump back on this bike and there is a lot of little bays and headlands and little rocky points like this on the other side. So I'm gonna drive over there. I think it takes like an hour, hour and a half depending on what track I take. So we'll get over there, we'll have a look. Just hope this wind isn't too strong because it's kind of blowy here. Ah, who knows, but dude, these missions are so sick. Let's go. Let's go and get ourselves a bit of breakfast. Oh, mm, 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 oh, oh, God. <laughs> All right, so it's, um, it's happening again. I'm taking these tracks, trying to get down to the water, but um, I just can't find way. Like, it's just seriously like, I'm probably right now I'm on a 150 meter cliff, 200 meter cliff, and I just can't get down to the bottom of them. So I'm, trying to, I'm sort of burning time, but look at the water, man. I need to get down here. I don't know if you guys can see the color, but that is like, the most amazing turquoise blue water I've ever seen, especially like this area here. That is off its head, man. It's beautiful. Look at it. This is so dope. Got my trusty steed. All right, we're just gonna follow this track back up to the top of the mountain, back around, and then I'm gonna go back down there. We'll just keep heading that way. But this is so dope, man. We have done some serious caves on that little bike. Up and down bumpy tracks, trying to find places to fish and it's just like super, super cliffy. So I've come down here just to have a look. I'm not gonna fish, it's um, really, really shallow reef, but it is one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen in my life. Have a go at this place, man. This is called Diamond Beach. So this is probably a dead giveaway to where I am, what island I'm on. This beach is off its absolute head, man. It's windy, but it is so beautiful. Dude, check it out. It is the, this is by far the most beautiful beach I've ever seen. This is, this is usually flooded with tourists. But now, I've got it to myself. Look at the water, man. Look at 
of this, man. I kind of just want to go down there, set up the tent and just sit there, but I haven't eaten anything all day still, so I'm not going to go down there. I'm going to try to find somewhere where we can go fishing, but I just wanted to come and show you how beautiful this beach is, man. That is off its absolute head. But we're not here to find beautiful places, we're here to find beautiful fish, so we'll keep this journey going. I have no idea where I'm going to go now. This has turned into like yesterday. It's just a day of driving, but um, so nice, man. All right, decisions, decisions, decisions. I am burning time like I was yesterday. I'm literally just doing laps around, trying to find spots to fish. Every single place I go, it's like a 150 meter cliff down to the water. People told me to go to some places and I've been there and it's like unfishable. Unless, like, unless you want to keep every fish you catch, there's no way you'll put the fish back. Like, you're gonna have to drag them up a 50 to 100 meter cliff. You need ropes, not good. So I think, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll just head back to where we've got that fish this morning, sleep there again and we'll just fish. See if we can get a big GT catch and release. I don't know, man. But this is where we are. So we caught that big fish where that blue dot is. And I'm all the way over here. And this side of the island is just like, it's just hectic. It's just massive cliffs. People are saying you can fish there, but I don't think you can unless you want to keep everything. So I'm going to start driving all the way back, take this inland track. What, 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 what? We'll take this all the way back down there. Then I'm going to go across the bumpy tracks all the way back to where we were this morning. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to head back there. I know it's good. We know there's fish there. And maybe I'll go get myself some cheeky packets of noodles for dinner because I am absolutely starving. I ate nothing yesterday and I've eaten nothing today. So, um, yeah, brother. So, um, yeah, I'm, I might go get a couple of cheeky noodles, but I won't crack into them unless we don't catch a fish. All right, let's start this big journey. All right, we're back at the land of the giants. No more messing around. Let's start fishing again. Man, that was an extremely wasted couple of hours driving around again. So let that be a lesson to myself. Find where the fish are and just stay here. Nah, but I really want to explore this island and Oh, I just don't have enough time. There's so many amazing places that look sick on the map and then when you actually get there It's like um, I don't know a 50 foot cliff or it's like a nice beach But with like a hundred meters of shallow reef like unfishable places when you're solo. So we're back in the motherland Let's set up the tent again <laughs> set the tent up again, and we're gonna go fishing Hopefully we can get something a little bit smaller so we can cook it up because I am starving All right, let's do this She's alive again, baby. I should have just bloody left it here. We need to get a fish, man. All I want to do is cook a fish on the fire tonight, but if we don't get a fish, I'll be resorting to me green. All right, let's start fishing because I am absolutely frothing for it. Yeah, I wonder what we're gonna get this time. Oh, it's windy. And the fish are quiet. Where are you, big dog? Really different current right now though. Very strange. I've been fishing for about two and a half hours, two and a little bit hours. Nothing. One big long time had a sniff, but um, that's it. There's two local guys down here. They come and looked at the current and they went home. Man, there's not even snails. There's not even, there's nothing to eat here. I just want to test out the new knife. We got a new knife the other day. Look at this beast, man. This is my coconut opener. So we need, maybe on the next episode, we can go find a couple of coconut trees, put this thing to the test. But um, this, this is supposed to be cleaning a fish this afternoon. We'll see how we go. Anyway, I'm going to keep fishing until the sun goes down. We've got about, I don't know, what's that, an hour and 15 minutes of sunlight left. So, yeah, we'll just keep fishing and, uh, who knows, bud? Righto. It's time to bloody put some noodles on the hot water. Oh, I'm so excited. I only bought two packets. What an idiot. I should have bought 50 of them. 
Well, I'm gonna smash those two packets of noodles. Uh, so we fished the whole larvo like it's gonna be dark in 15 minutes. So I'm gonna quickly get back up there, get a little fire going or get the little um, gas cooker burning. Um, yeah, no luck. One long tom hit and that's it. So don't know what's happened this arvo, but this morning, man, nothing can top this morning. Even if I don't get a fish, I don't really care anymore because this morning was dope, man. Doesn't really bother me if I don't get anything else, but it'd be nice to get another fish. Oh shit, that's <laughs> hell of wobbly rock, boy. All right. See you guys back up at the tent and we'll uh, start cooking. How bloody good does this look? Look at this. I am, this is the first thing I've eaten in two days. Seriously. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's so good. We could have been eating fillets and fillets and fillets and fillets of barracuda, but Nah, that fish is way too big to kill. We let him go. Now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering, like, why don't I use bait when I go fishing? I hate bait fishing. Like, it's boring. I just like lure fishing. Man, if you don't eat for a day or two, like, it's not the end of the world, but I was bloody hungry today. So we've got ourselves a, two packets of margarine. I should have got five. But um, I'm literally, I'm just going to sit here now, watch the sunset, smash these delicious noodles, and we'll... um. Suppose we wake up in the morning and fish here again. Imagine if I hook up to that big GT tomorrow. Ha! <laughs> That's gonna make the little rod bend. Mmm. Ah, good morning. That was a really bad sleep. <laughs> Look at my eye. It's like, <laughs> it feels like it's super swollen. I haven't looked in the mirror yet, but I'll go over to the bike and look in the mirror. It feels really swollen. I don't know what's going on with my eye, but we've got coffee. That water's nearly boiled. <laughs> it looks like an absolute beautiful day. And last night's sleep was extremely haggard, man. So. I'm just sleeping literally on the ground. So here's our poxy little tent. And this is, this towel was inside the bike when I rented it. It was just inside the seat. So it's probably some rank mank towel, but um, I'm just sleeping on this. And this is like, not hard. This kind of ground's like rocky sticks. Just, I don't know, I didn't have a good sleep. That is not going to stop us from hooking up to a big dog. I'm going to uh, smash a coffee, maybe two, and then we'll start fishing again. Looks like such a nice day, man. Let's get out of this shitty little tent and look around, eh? Look at this. Good morning. <laughs> oh, this is so sick, man. It started pissing down with rain. I've got my coffee. This is so good, dude. Look at this, man. It is literally bucketing down outside right now. <laughs> yes, this is what I man, this is what I froth this right now, this feeling. It's so good dude, look at this. This tent isn't even waterproof. Yeah doggies. You're gonna get soaked. All right, so the fishing is slow, and I'm now fishing with one eye. 
So um, I don't know what happened to me last night, but something's bitten my eye. And I, um, look at this man. It's like, I can barely see out of this eye right now. I don't know if it's been like bitten or, oh, I don't know what it is, but it's like blurry, I can barely see. So it's really hard to walk on these rocks right now with this eye man. Let's put those sunnies back on. But we've seen one school of little tuna swim through. They were really small tuna, but it was pretty sick to see. And he, and dolphins keep punching up and down this rock. So we'll just keep fishing. And uh, hopefully this eye gets better, man. It's actually getting worse. When I woke up, it was like, yeah, I got bitten by something. Now it's like it's, I can barely open my eye properly. Ah, camping, eh? All right, we'll keep fishing. We'll see if we can get there some. You're joking. Big manta ray splashing its way to the bloody moon and back. That thing was jumping. Dude, I have a body. Look at these goosebumps, man. With my one working eye, I just saw that splash before. It's not a manta ray, it's a sunfish, dude. It's a massive, like, massive, big albino white sunfish. That is so dope, man. It's jumping out of the water. I thought it was a manta ray, but it's a, it's a sunfish. That is awesome. Come on, jump again. It's just here. Big white sunfish launching out of the water. Beautiful sight. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. It's funny how things work. So I've been casting this lure all morning. No hits, nothing. There's been two local fishermen come down, they went home, they got nothing. I've seen heaps of long tom swimming around and I found a pair of long tom jaws. So that's what a long tom's jaw looks like. So there's no way to actually set a hook. So I've been scavenging around on these rocks and I made myself a skirt with all these different bits of cotton material so when the long tom comes and bites it, they get tangled up and that's how the people are catching these long tom. Soon as I cast this out, third cast, two tuna about this big, they weren't big, but perfect eating size tuna. Flying in, bang, bang, buffing it, but there's no hook in there. So <laughs> I couldn't catch the tuna. That is always the way. And now it's, um, it's quarter to 11. I've got to be on a boat at 11.30 going back to the island I come from. So I'm gonna love yous and leave yous. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining my adventure. Unfortunately, we didn't get an edible sized fish, but we got a big fish and I'm super pumped with that. So I'll see you in the next one, doggies. Much love. Yow!